you're still watching ways now we'll just go straight into what we found in today's news um jennifer we come to you first <laughs> canada rejects exas operating the excitement that, that jennifer is using to take this story <laughs> go ahead <laughs> let me allow you <laughs> canada rejects exas operatives application for asylum now it says that um, canada has rejected the request of a former member of the special anti-robbery squad olushola pupola who was seeking asylum in the North American country. So um, um, Olushola used to work um, with SARS when he was in Nigeria between 2002 to 2015, and he left Nigeria in 2016. Now, um, this is 2021, and he's seeking for asylum, but he was rejected, and the presiding judge said, I am dismissing his application because the decision maker reasonably assess the relevant factors for deciding whether Mr. Pupola made a knowing and significant contribution to the crimes committed by the Nigerian police force. Now, um, when they asked him, he said that um, he, he resignated, he tendered his resignation letter in 2011, but it wasn't acknowledged until 2015. Mm. And um, he also said that he left by himself but then the judge also said that he left for personal reasons, not that he left SARS because of the human rights abuse. Mm. So whether he, he's still there now when the NSAS protest happened or not, he was still working there and human rights abuse has been on for a very long time. So he was denied. So you're happy now? No, not really. <laughs> Don't say it like that. <laughs> but I think it's a good move. I'm not, I'm not okay. So the thing is... Um, I don't know if he was part of people who perpetrated evil, but um, I'm happy that even outside the country, they are, they've heard our voices and they are doing something for us, even if our own government are refusing to take action. Mm. They are taking action on our behalf. Mm -hmm. And it seems like a good move to me. Mm. So they can see that, oh, you were part of these people. Mm -hmm. It's either you spoke up or not. Did mm -hmm. you or did you not? Mm -hmm. And they, there's no evidence mm -hmm. showing that there's mm -hmm. no proof. Mm -hmm. You can't come out and say, oh, I did not. Mm -hmm. It's not showing. We don't know. Mm -hmm. So, sorry. And, no and, asylum. And, and, and it's a good thing because why? Most of the other operatives are still in service and they are watching. Yeah. And they are saying this. So, tomorrow, something, what gives that they also want to travel and, you know, they'll be denied. So, just do the know. right thing. Yeah. Denied. <laughs> Jennifer. <laughs> is Maury there now? Maury, how are you doing? Hello, Maury. Oh, okay. I think we're still having trouble with Maury. Okay, so my story is actually quite an interesting one. It says the U.S. agency calls for suspension of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, right? Um, so top U.S. health authorities recommended a pause in the use of Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine out of an abundance of caution as they investigate any links between it and blood cloth. A regular, um, that's what a regulator said on um, today. Now, the U.S. Um, Food and Drug Administration and the Center for Disease Control are assessing the potential significance of six reported cases of the rare blood cloth in patients who have received the shot of the um, Johnson & Johnson. And until that process is complete, we're recommending a pause. Um, so, interestingly, I think last night when I got home, I was just... Um, going through Instagram, and I saw a, a picture in one of the major papers, um, sorry, one of the major um, networks on Instagram, their Instagram page, of a, a man that had taken the Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine, and he was critically ill in the hospital with oxygen mask and yeah. all of that. You know, just yesterday I saw this. I was not saying that, ah, ah. Okay, this one is not AstraZeneca now. This is Johnson & Johnson. And this is the same Johnson and Johnson that they said they were yeah. bringing to Nigeria. So please, though, let the government know that, you know, this, this vaccine also has 
a bit of questions that they need to clarify before you know continuing the process of taking the vaccine yeah I, I know when the vaccine came into the country um doctors were saying that some people would actually have side effects and it wasn't everybody there are people who actually took it and then nothing they, happened. they felt nothing mm -hmm. while there were some who took it and they were sick for like a week mm -hmm. some were sick for three days or mm -hmm. thereabouts so yeah. it depends so the thing is i don't know what he's reacting to mm -hmm. So we, I don't know, I think they need to give us more information on uh, what one is going was on. was in a critical situation. And that's actually with, very bad. With oxygen mask and all that, it was, ho ho it was hospitalized. So even my friends, actually, I went to see them today, Marenke and her husband, um, Seidu, they were talking about when they, their own experience, how when they took the jab for the AstraZeneca, they just took it. Um, she felt a bit of weakness. Mm. Then she said she felt a lot of body pain. She couldn't move. She had to like struggle to go into a chair. Yeah. Then the husband felt feverish, you know, and all of that. And this is, I mean, if you listen to different people, different accounts, a lot of people say, oh, for a week I was down. Mm -hmm. Some people said after the thing wore off that they were hungry and they ate a lot. Yeah. You know, so there are different ways, I mean, that, that it presents, you know, itself. itself to your human body. So it depends on you, you know. So it's not really like a unique symptom. But this one, when they have six reported cases of blood clots, you know, a rare, um, rare cases and severe types of blood clots in individuals, it's all, I mean, it's, you have to, first of all, put a pause on it, which is the right yeah. thing any thinking government should do. Should do yeah. Put a pause to it and now go and investigate and see, okay, if it's not that that is causing it, then what else then is what the, else, yeah. Yes. Maybe they had underlining so issues. So they need to run a series of tests. Thank you. Yeah, but you have, to put it, you, you have to put a pause on yeah, that, true. you know, so that more people will not fall into... You know, so I think it's a good step in the right direction and I That's hope, um, you know, more more government will just take, take, <laughs> take heed. That's all. You know, because this thing is new. It's strange. So everything's almost like try and error. We're trying a to lot get of people. A lot of people are still very scared Skeptical. to take. Yeah, they're yeah. very scared to take yeah. it. All right, so I think we're going to take a break now. When we return, hopefully we can connect with Mari to discuss our topic for today. Stay with us. We'll be right back.